Remember, how you work with Aurora HDR is ultimately up to you. There are many different tools, techniques, and filters within the program, as well as the flexibility of masks, adjustment layers, textures, and blending modes. But ultimately, it comes down to this. The more information you give the software, the better results you'll have. Whenever possible, shoot RAW, 10-bit, 12-bit, 14-bit. If you can combine RAW with brackets, well then even more dynamic range is possible. The more information you have, the better the software does at maximizing the dynamic range and showing you great depth. Now, this is quite useful for black and white workflow, as well as creating all sorts of creative portraits, landscapes, and nature photographs. I hope that you get a chance to dig into the tools and can really bring them to life. Remember, there are some great presets included to jumpstart your creativity, including those created by some professional photographers who are well known as HDR photographers. Be sure to check those out and it will really help you unlock some different techniques. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for watching.